So imagine, for example, a scholar in French literature who runs a blog and tweets where they talk about their interest. They're working on 19th century French fiction, and so they they read a book, a scholarly book, and they review it as a blog post. They come with a beautiful quote from Malbrane, and they tweet it, and so on. So they build a reputation through social media for their current interest in the project, and this eventually helps grow into their book. So they may publish an outline,、uh, they may publish a book proposal on their blog. They'll get feedback. They'll be able to kind of think out loud about this, so that over time they've really built a kind of If you will, a nimbus of social around their scholarly impetus, and then when they publish, say, a journal article, it may be that it appears behind、uh, closed doors through Elsevier and JSTOR. It may be that it appears in open access journal issue.、Uh, either way, readers will approach through through different venues than they used to, or different paths. And maybe they make a monograph. In the monograph, they could have, say,、uh, film footage. Of an early dramatization of a play from the 1920s, it could be that they have、um, an animation of Paris in the 1880s, a three-dimensional animation that they want to work through, and this will be part of the monograph that you could read online. So, I mean, overall, you'll have something something new. Each of these has a special promise. The material promise is that we can do more scholarship, that we can ask and answer more questions. So. In the case, the, the hypothetical case I just mentioned, imagine a 19th-century Paris visualization, a three-dimensional model where we could query the model and pull up data about settlement, about where people live, about sewage, about the rollout of streets over time, and then the promise, and maybe learn more than we once knew. And the promise of the communication, well, in part, is greater efficiency. But also greater conversation, you know, through open access, a larger audience, but also through connecting it to social media, a wider audience as well. So, overall, taken together, in a sense, this is revolutionary. We're really taking scholarly publication and transforming it into something new. Looked at another way, this is what the digital world is like. This is something that's not really that remarkable. Nothing that I've described is futuristic. It's simply a case of just implementing and doing it.